this is ironic. And here we go. Alright. Welcome back to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. I have not played this on this channel for almost five years. This game does not feel like it should be almost half a decade old. All right, where did time go? Begin tape. Leaving dead space, three, two, one. The purpose of this tape is to test automated response times and reactions from vintage interactive attractions following like many audio other FNAF stimuli. Games, we are doing you a are revisit this of this tape, one. It's going to be a one and not done only video. Have you been checking outside at the end of every shift, as mm -hmm. you were instructed to do, but also that you have found something that meets the criteria of your special obligations under paragraph four. Follow these instructions, document response times, then safely secure the space before leaving. Upon sealing the room, you are not to return. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Oh, neat. <laughs> you, you can before she does anything. This opening part's pretty scripted, so there's nothing I can really Document say about result. it right now. I already did. Uh, whatever. We're all good. Begin audio prompt in it's three, two, one. It's a pretty iconic one. plot twist. Document results. Begin audio prompt in Definitely three. Definitely different than two, the original one. Which I recently just, in its own revisit, I recently just beat about a month ago. For the first time ever, I actually beat all five, six nights. I mean, I'm still gonna do custom night, or at least try it at some point. Document results. I never played this game Begin as much as I did. In three, two, one. I never played this one as much as the others. It's a new day. It's your time to shine. It's time to take your career into your own hands. You've saved money your whole life. Great. Now it's time to put all your eggs into one basket and take a huge gamble on your future. Some of the other a gamble that comes with a 100% chance of success in some cases. Mr. Location, what are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. franchisee. That's right, uh, I thought restaurant was ownership and management. Scripted. Something almost anyone can do with a limited degree of success. Sure, and it's a I lot of like money to invest, more. but everyone's uh, doing it. I haven't played it for a while, that means so. it's safe and lucrative. With your initial investment, you will receive everything you need to get started, including a small room, world. some tables, and, uh, and electricity. But don't forget about the money you had left uh, over after buying your franchise package. Music to decorate, buy a stage, a buy attractions and animatronics, and much, did. much more. Now, let's take a look at a few things that will help you get started as a Fazbear Entertainment franchisee. Yes, such let's. as atmosphere. Making sure your establishment has an inviting atmosphere is essential to bringing in new customers. Entertainment. Having a lot of entertainment value in your restaurant will ensure that customers come back. Corporation as Bonus revenue. Coin-operated games and no, attractions totally can generate honest, additional revenue during the day, bridge. which means more money in your pocket, <laughs> With a real ready place, for reinvestment. I would totally go Health there. and safety. Heck, I'd there go may to be times when you purchase something of real. questionable quality, and we don't blame Just, you. Cutting corners how could you is not, as a FNAF fan, if there was an actual but there place, are steps you, you can take to ensure you don't run get down like the it. original game. And that brings us to liability. Being a thrifty shopper is smart, but be aware that buying things uh, on yes, sale comes with a certain amount of risk. Kind of Aside from the daily risk of lawsuits, there's also the risk disclaimer. that something might be hiding inside whatever you just purchased with that steeply discounted price tag. Mm -hmm. Of course, that would only be a serious danger if there were something Lefty, outside right? that's been trying to get in for months now, right? which we are Lefty, not confirming to be the case. Same, same this concludes the amount of help we are legally obligated to provide. Remember, you are now the face of the newly rebranded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Excellent. Wear that smile with pride and well, let's am. make some money. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for disappearance, death, or dismemberment. 
Yeah, I never played this one as much as I did the other games. Sister Location, same boat. But... I, I don't know. I like this one more than Sister Location. Though I do have a critique about it that I think would have made it better, but that's just me. Anyway, yeah, I remember. I haven't played the PC version in a while either. Last version I played was the mobile version. Let's see how much cash you had left over after purchasing your franchise package. I hope package. you're in FNAF Plus more Great. than just a poster. That should be more than enough. Now let's I'd get love started. It if he's, like, On your left the games, are your product catalogs. Tutorial. You can unlock more expensive catalogs by FNAF simply World purchasing one. items for your pizzeria. Right. Use the arrows first in the bottom first. right of the item window to I browse stayed. the products for each I know. catalog. And unit, I know. When you're finished shopping, click the button labeled Blueprint Mode to place your items. You can switch back and forth between catalog mode and blueprint mode as okay. often as you I like know. before opening your doors to the public. When you're ready to open your restaurant for business for okay, the day, click the button labeled Finished in Blueprint Mode. Give it a try and do some shopping. I'm going to. I'm going to buy number one crate. Woo! Number one crate. He's going to be my star animatronic. He's going to rock and roll this joint. Hey, look, my dog's interrupting me again. Just like in every fin FNAF world that revisited. Yay! Okay, that's good enough. Number one crate! Yeah! Gotta love him. I love him. Number one crate, I hope you're in... I hope you get a cameo in the movie. Five Nights at Freddy's the movie? Please. That'd be awesome. Why do I have two risk? What did I buy that had risk? I actually want to buy... He's still barking, by the way. Even with noise-canceling headphones, he's on the other side of the house, and a door's closed between us, I can hear him. I want to buy this. Hey! Can't afford it. I can't afford the cool stuff. I can buy this! We're gonna give number one crate a surround sound experience. Yeah, look at him, ready to rock and roll. And look, no risk. Excellent. Okay, cool. It's a red balloon. We all float down here, nice. <laughs> Anyone remember when I first played this game, I got Candy Cadet to tell me a story on the first try, and I've never gotten to do it again. Anyway, I can't afford a floor upgrade, so let's just go ahead and... Your restaurant is, is now free, officially by the way. open. Awesome. It was that doesn't awesome mean your job is finished, however. You have a lot of work to do while patrons eat their pizza. I know. I know. Now... You, Mr. Clown Frown over there, I think are one of the scariest things in FNAF, and I really wish you would have actually been in a game like a spinoff or something. Also, uh, obligatory. Yes. Now, here's what I wish the game was. First of all, it took me so long to realize you're not here, you're here. You think that would be obvious. But instead of a motion scanner, I think it would have been cool if, like at the corners, like going down the hallway or something, instead of not being able to see them, there were cameras, and that's how you tracked them. Like camera here, like a camera at like every other intersection or something. Like camera here, camera here, camera here, camera here, camera here, and camera here. And that's how you tracked them. Or heck, you could even have like camera, 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 and make them scroll. So you have to look both ways with it like that. And then you could do an audio lure for the corresponding place where the threats are. I don't know. That's just... I, I, I think that would have been a better mechanic than... The pop-up ads are fine. Uh, I just think having cameras here uh, would have been better than just the motion tracker. Like, just a limited, like, yeah, like camera here, camera here, camera here, and you... Kind of like how in FNAF Plus, you have to click and then drag... And it, that makes it pan. 
I think that would have been a really cool way to give this game some cameras, and I think this game would have been better. But that's just me. Anyway, there's no one here right now, so let's just do this. And this computer almost making that sound almost sounds like Mangle. Isn't it cool if Mangle is in this game? I, I was looking at uh, Fazbear Storage or whatever it's called recently, and Mangle in the vents in that game is so cool. Just the model looks great. Anyway, though, we're here to talk about Pizzeria Simulator. Yeah, I just think it was so cool of Scott to make this game free. You know, he, he could have made it cost 10 bucks or something like the other ones. No, this one is free, and I think that was very awesome of him to do. And, again, I, I never played the post-FNAF World games. Like, I never bothered to do this stuff before. Um, I never played the post-original trilogy, FNAF 1, 2, and 3. Uh, even with FNAF 4, honestly. I never I never really cared for FNAF 4. Uh, the minigames are cool, but... I, I just thought the games post... I still like them a lot. It's just, I don't play them as much, you know? In Sister Location, I would recommend... Like, Sister Location, as one of the games to get a FNAF experience, I'd put it up there with FNAF 1, 2, you know. I would rank it up there with those games as a FNAF experience, Sister Location, right up there with the original and stuff, but I would... Uh, I never played it as much. I just thought it was too scripted, you know. And I thought about revisiting it like I'm doing here, but... Eh. I don't really want to. It's just not a game I enjoy playing very much. I like this game more. Uh, from the... Lost my train of thought. I like this game more, is the point, though, than the, than the others. Honestly, I think a, a kind of blend of this game and FNAF 1 would be kind of interesting, where... You have to watch the animatronics on the cameras and stuff, but you also have to do these kinds of tasks while, like, you know, light door, there's Chica, shut it, you know, light door, Bonnie. But you have to do these tasks while you're also watching for Freddy and watching for Foxy, so you're desperately flipping back and forth on your monitor, like, say, here's your tasks. And then, like, you have a tasks tab and a camera tab. You flip to the cameras and just pretend it's the FNAF on location. You see where everybody is, in this case, Freddy and Foxy. And then you flip that. Well, in the spirit of FNAF 1, the lights just went out. I'll be right back. Great job. It looks like you're getting the hang of this. Now let's just focus on getting you through your first week. There's a big party here Saturday, and you should view that day as your ultimate test. Make it through Saturday, I think we're and you all will right. have proven yourself as the successful entrepreneur that we all know you can that be. weird. It's looking like it's going to storm, too. Congratulations on completing your first day. However, your job isn't over just yet. There is another aspect to your end-of-day routine, and that is inspecting and salvaging any animatronics found in the alley outside the back door. Things are found here quite often, and while we aren't sure why, what we do know is that they can be used for parts, which can mean a much-needed revenue boost before starting your next day. Of course, as with everything else it, in this line of work, those benefits come with risk. The safest thing to do is to throw it back outside, but then you get no money for the mm -hmm. salvage. Choose to keep it, and you run the risk of certain negative consequences, namely death, should the item in question not be as docile as it first appeared. No, they never are in these games. If you do decide to try to salvage it, then you must complete the maintenance checklist. During also, one thing I like phase, about this game, the check ending on the animatronic is awesome! Frequently. But the whole, if you feel that the it darkest is becoming pit of hell don't use the is opened up to swallow you. you. Don't leave the devil waiting, You can use it three times friend. without damaging so the hardware. Cool. 
Ever use over three, however, Ultimate Custom will Night was a perfect epilogue game value. where it's William Afton's Before hell. Before you is an animatronic that found in the back alley. That was a perfect epilogue game. We are unsure of its origins. It is your job to complete the maintenance checklist before claiming it mm -hmm. as salvage. Or, mm -hmm. if you choose to, you can throw it back into uh -huh. the alley where you found it and forfeit payment. Please Ugh. make your choice now. I'll proceed with the dumb salvage. You have chosen to proceed Isn't that a with name the of the character checklist. in the books? I quit reading Fazbear Frights after your the company first view. Taser to return the, the end of the pit was great, a but, um, state if you feel that it's becoming unstable or aggressive. Does it salvage the name of you character You can only in use those? it three times before it begins to damage the Remember, that was the name for Springtrap before value. we knew what he was called. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. You be quiet. Uh, I think there's actually. Damn it. I'm hearing stuff on the roof. Ah, it's like the scene in my second book come to life where there's a monster on the roof. Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. You're a broken down hunk of junk. You look like you'd give me tetanus if you mauled me to death. That'd be what would kill me, the tetanus. Document results. Negatory. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. No, you have one more one. stage, but... You're fine. It's all good. I'd rather just keep you docile. We have to do two more of these, so... Document results. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Okay, so... Hmm. Interesting. I thought it was only three. Must be four. Must be four. Well, that's not too bad. You can just do it every other time then. Unless they get more difficult. They probably do. It doesn't matter. He's not gonna move. Document result. I already did. You have completed the maintenance checklist and may proceed with the salvage. Well done. End tape. Yay, now Thanks you're gonna try to kill me. Join the party. I'll try not to disappoint. Yeah, you're gonna, because you're gonna try to kill me. Bad, no one was turned away. Excellent. Hey, that's what I like. No lawsuit. We'll be right back. I... No, I'm... Hang on, no. We'll be right back. Yeah, it's about the storm. No wonder it... No wonder the lights went out while I was doing this. Alright, anyway. I'm not gonna accidentally jump to... I'm not gonna accidentally jump straight to... Uh, scariness. Actually, buy stuff. Bonus this, I'm sure. I'm gonna leave number one crate because ah, he's the best. He's all I need. Uh, all right.
this. Health and safety. I interned at a health department. I know how important that is. Trust me, there's some restaurant kitchens you wouldn't, you don't want to see, and I guarantee Freddy Fazbear's would be one of them. Sure. No risk. Excellent. Yay! I want to see if I. There's no way I'll get a story on the first try again. That happened when I first played this game, but let's let's just see. I am a candy cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy. 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 Tell me the one about how he, uh, pieced the remains together! Return to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a I story. I was hoping. <laughs> I was hoping. I was- I was hoping. Yay! Uh... No, I'm not finished. I wanna... I might have heard that. That was loud thunder. That 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 shook this room a little bit. Uh, I've got a stage, but I'll buy the stage light. Uh, a lot of bonus revenue. Oh, smiles and servos. I'm not gonna be able to afford any of their uh, of their items except for you, you and your brother, you or your brother. I can buy one of you. I can't buy the pair. Buy this. Man, I could use these in the office. I definitely can't buy any of you. And man, you're all dangerous. That's another thing I kind of was bummed at by this game. Why couldn't it been where not only are the salvage animatronics coming after you, but the dudes who you buy also come in the vents after you? That would have been neat. It really would have been a precursor to Ultimate Custom. Oh, let's see. Yeah, good atmosphere. A lot of money. Uh... Oh, what the heck. You don't get anywhere in life if you don't buy stuff. I'm... I'm not... I'm not gonna... and... Doesn't he say something rarely? I don't know. I think so. got the FNAF world vibes going on here. Hey. Limonade for everyone. Excellent. That money! Uh, Alright, let's do you. I am a candy cadet. Come get your candy here. I have candy all day, every day. Hey. Candy. 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 Return to Candy Cadet again, and maybe I will tell you a story. I'm waste all the play tokens on this guy. I got a story once, that's enough for me. It was a very disturbing story. Disturbing story. Let's get this one again. Lemonade for everyone. And then look at number one Cray with his stage lights and his speakers. He's rocking out. I might buy the deluxe speakers. I know Tycoon Sons had this kind of thing going on where it was part tycoon and then it was became a horror game at certain points. Okay, uh... I'm not gonna accidentally click on something I don't want to click on. Uh, were they here? No, they were here. I want these. I want these expensive items. I'm recklessly buying stuff. Look at look at number one crate though. Look at him rocking out. Stage lights and these ridiculously giant speakers. I love it. All right, let's. I don't remember where the Easter egg here is. So... Yay! 
guessing I can't hit any of the other cars. I set it on lap three, though, and it's down here on the bottom. I know. Oh my gosh. Ow. Oh my gosh, I suck at this. I've never played this before. Moves like Foxy Fighter, which is good. Yay! It's on lap three. I know that. And I know where it is. Okay, so the further back, oh, yeah, uh, further back you go, uh, quicker, yeah, that's, how many lives do I have left? You know I've never played this before, this does kind of move like Foxy Fighter, it's kind of neat. give my interpretation of this minigame when we get to it. Hey, this guy lives on a road like I do. Back, back road that's twisty windy. Yeah. Off the beaten track. Yeah. Mine's not quite this twisty windy though. And I sucked at Midnight Motors though, but I got here in the end. And then of course, Juniors just came out and... I, I decided not to play it, but I love that someone made this, what I'm guessing is a bar, into a whole, its own thing. Very cool. Juniors. Look at this bar. Yeah, very cool. I remember when this game came out, everyone was like, Who's the orange man? It's not purple guy. Man, he lives at the end of a very broken down... And does anyone else think that the rain sounds like static? That I sure do. Anywho. So, people wonder, who is it that's in the house in this game? Like, people wonder that. And a lot of people think it's um, William's wife sitting in the chair, uh, talking about how, uh, or Michael, I'm sorry, a lot of people think it's Michael Afton sitting in the uh, chair, animatronic footprint. Oh wait, you're not supposed to come back here yet. Uh, a lot of people think it's Michael sitting in the chair saying don't uh, bother him because the little brother, who got his head bitten off by the way, same one, had a bad day. I personally think that this is, unless there's been lore that confirms otherwise, I think that this is after the bite of 83 when the little brother got his head bitten off because of Michael's actions. I think that this is someone else, probably Mike. Uh, the wife, because he's got to have someone if he has kids. And I think it's Leave Him Alone Michael has had a rough day, and William has become, like, abusive because he blames him for what he did to his brother. And I mean, who would blame their kid for shoving their younger brother inside of mouth of an animatronic and getting their head bitten off, you know? Who would, yeah, who would, who would get mad at their kid for that? Sure he does. It's my house, he can't ignore me like that. Open the door! Awesome. Yeah, now we go outside. Yeah, how we go outside. I, I went I went about it all wrong. You're supposed to go out and about. Anyway though, I'm pretty sure that it's Michael. 
who did it, uh, who's in the room, and he's like being verbally abused or just abused in general by William because of what he did. Uh, but yeah, uh, animatronic footprints. Those are like FNAF One Freddy Bonnie footprints, but I guess they could like be. I'm guessing it's not Fred Bears. I'm guessing it's like the Freddy's location we haven't seen where the missing children incident happened. The one that we first heard about in the original game and we didn't know anything. I think that was the scariest time point for that whole thing. And you didn't know anything and you just knew the ghosts were haunting the robots. Either way, that was a very special time as a FNAF fan when you didn't have all the answers, and nowadays we, you know, we know what happened. But back then, I remember it. I have fond memories of that bygone era of FNAF. Anyway, I got that on the first try. I sucked getting there, but I got there. So I am a candy cadet. Come get your candy here. here. I have candy all day, every day. Candy. 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 Return to Candy Cadet Beautiful again, price. and maybe I will tell you a story. I'm pretty sure it's just an odds thing, like what, a 1 in 10,000 or a 1 in 1,000 or something? I still can't believe I got one on the first go-around. Lemonade for Everone. I remember I had to look up what this guy was saying because I could never understand it. Ooh, I have almost $600. I could buy your brother. I don't have anywhere to put him, but I can I guess I could get rid of the... I guess I could get rid of these. I don't know. Let me go look at the stats. Yeah, hey, hey. I guess I, I'm going to go look at the... Hey, look at that. I got 100 bucks for doing that. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. They're over here. No, are they in smiles and servos? Must be. Yes. Let's see here. Atmosphere 3, Entertainment 2, Bonus Revenue 1. Okay, so yeah, he's better. Who would have thought an animatronic's better than just a barrel? I do not have enough to do a floor or plan, so I'm just gonna put him here. And we'll use my last uh, token to play test him. I am happy that this guy doesn't come out of the vent, though, in this game, because that would be a scary face to see in the flashlight creeping up at you out of the darkness. Fruit punch for everyone. Though that reinforces the point I said about the clown drawing being the scariest thing ever. Right. Hey, look, I got another hundred bucks for that. I could do a floor plan upgrade. Before I commit to scary, I want to... Is there anything else that's just in... I can put in the environment that doesn't face this? Because that just goes in the corner, right? Yep. Yeah. Excellent. Alright. I don't have any more play tokens. But I can't really put it off any longer. Alright. Uh, the one thing is that without the cameras, I do think that this game's night mechanic part is one of the scarier ones. Because you can't ever track them, really, except with the, the motion sensor. Alright, so... I'm probably gonna die, so I'm actually gonna split the recording right here, and then we'll get to it. So give me just a second, and then we'll be right in with it. Hey, look at that. The the blue sky came back out. There was not an appropriate a mood setting storm. All right. All right. Here we go. thrown you back into the alley where you belong. Oh 
oh, you can't do them both. I have not seen any... Okay, he's over there. Okay. Oh, I turned it. What the? Okay. Oh, I heard that. Oh my gosh, I hate this. I heard that. He's over here. Nope, that's behind me. I can't see anything. I can't see anything. What is happening? I think my game's bugging out. Ah, uh, I can't see anything! I can't help it, the game bugged out. The game bugged out. I didn't even get to see your jump scare, I just saw your face. Ugh, I hate that whole thing. That's probably in... Other than FNAF 4... Can I skip this? Other than FNAF 4, I think this game's night gameplay is the scariest stuff ever. I honestly really wish... I think cameras would have made that... I don't know. The point is, I think that this game is just one of the scarier ones when it gets to the night sections. I think it's only rivaled by FNAF 4. I don't know, though. I don't know. The point is, though, I think that the night sections in this game are some of the scarier ones. But, uh, I gave you the obligatory jump scare <laughs> that you're expected, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Like I said, a one-off revisit. I'm not doing a full replay of this. And a little bit of a longer video, but again, don't expect these to become constant again until FNAF Plus comes out, which I bet will probably be scarier than any FNAF game has been yet, so... I mean, if it's anything like a Shadow Over Freddy's, we're in for a treat, and as, as terms of making you scared, because that game made me very scared. Yeah, I'm excited. And it was really fun to revisit this one. Again, like I was saying, there's a definite difference in the game's post-FNAF world that you can tell. But I like this game a lot. I do. I like this game more than I like Sister Location. And like I said, if I was to someone would ask me what should they play for a definitive FNAF experience, I don't know if I would put this one in like the top layer, or like FNAF 1, 2, 3, and then I put Sister Location just because I think it's a well-made game that has a good experience, even though it's just not one that I really like to play, but I think I would put this in la like the layer under that. So yeah, I like this game a lot, and I, even though I do rank Sister Location higher, I like playing this one more. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up. This was fun to revisit, and 